This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Now, moving right along, no pun intended, we're going to take a look at the rolling edit tool, which is a little bit different from the ripple edit tool, and it's going to take a little bit of conversation to get your mind around how this works. It's not quite so straightforward, but it does serve a very useful purpose when the length of your project is very important, yet the content has a lot of leeway. You've got a lot of headroom in terms of where you put your edits and so on, like uh, general crowds or nature scenes or things that don't have in and out points dictated by conversation and occurrences within your subject matter and so on. So the rolling edit tool has a place, again, when total length of your project is of paramount importance. You don't want to have to go through and re-edit every one of your clips in order to get the time out. It really does help. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the previous edit that we did in the previous lesson, and we're going to change the edit point on the previous track. Now, here's what it sounded like before. You and, and Kurt and Kathy, get your guys and get out of here. You know what to do? Before each trip, I generally have anywhere from 50 to 200 hours. And so that was how we left it. Let's say I want to change it. But I don't want to change, and I don't want to have to go back and readjust everything in order for my overall project length to change. So it's very simple to go get the rolling edit tool, and we choose this clip. And notice I put a marker, okay? I went and got this marker at the point where I want to make the new cut. So we're going to just grab this, and notice that it has a line through it when it's anywhere other than at a junction point between two clips. So you can go either this way or this way, but it won't go this way unless you choose it. So we're going to choose this clip, left click, hold it down, and we're going to back up to this point. And again, notice how that it snaps into place. Now also notice that when we were dragging the clip, we had a split screen that showed us visually where things were going to come together. Now notice the change in the edit. It doesn't matter. There is no time clock here. I swear to God, you didn't punch one in. And striking up friendships and great senses of accomplishment. And it just, that's, you know, where... That previous edit was basically undone, and this clip was lengthened from a time standpoint to meet the junction of the new clip on the previous clip. So, whereas before we had already done a cut at the 756 area right here roughly when we grabbed that point here and moved in this direction it simply added more of the old clip it reached and got out of its memory the old clip put it back in place here in order to meet the time requirements for coming to this new ending on this clip if i'm making that clear it's a little bit hard to examine the best thing to do is look at generic crowd or nature scenes and things that don't have exacting in and out points. And if you want to change the length of the scene in the ocean and maybe go to the length of the scene into a forest area where in and out points are not crucial, you can do that very, very easily with the rolling edit tool. So let's listen to how this now sounds. Take a nap. I, it doesn't matter. There is no time clock here. I swear to God, you didn't punch one in. And striking up friendships and great sense. So if we then want to go back to our previous spot, we come over here to 356. And then we produce a marker right there. And we get our tool. And notice it snaps into place. We let go. And then it reattaches the old, previously discarded timeline on this clip and puts it back so that the overall length of your project is not affected. And that's why it's called rolling, because it rolls along the timeline and does not change the length of the overall project. Takes practice. Come in, practice with it, and then sooner or later you get that aha moment. It's not an easy tool to understand when you first look at it, and you're probably sitting there right now kind of scratching your head going, huh? But trust me when I tell you, go in and practice with this tool. The lights will come on eventually. I guess to summarize it, the rolling edit tool 
is best used when you don't want to disturb the overall length of your project. Got to practice with it.